Welcome to another video. Oh boy, it is cold and it is windy and I have no idea how cold it is, but I suspect it's somewhere around minus three or minus four degrees uh, Celsius. Not used to this kind of weather. Now this is a little preface to this video and I think it's quite important. Just give me a second, I need to get into my car because otherwise I'm going to turn into a Serpent ZA sickle. Oof. Oh man, that's better. Okay, Oof. now this is uh, an important video and I'm going to start it with a quick story so if you can just bear with me. Um, this is a story of the first time I traveled to China on my own. Now <clears throat> when I arrived in China the first time uh, and I didn't know anything, I was approached by somebody at the border who could speak a little bit of English and offered to give me a taxi ride. Okay, now I haven't made a video about these taxi scams yet, in fact I'm planning to do that soon. But let's just uh, cut a long story short because you'll hear the whole story and how to avoid these things in the future in a future video. But uh, long story short, he took me a couple of kilometers to a kind of a deserted area uh, and des demanded pretty much all the money that I had in my wallet before he would drop me off, you know, in civilization. So basically, it was a it was a black taxi scam, which we'll we'll hear all about it. Now, that little incident made me absolutely hate China. I thought to myself, "Screw China! This is a disgusting place, full of thieves and uh, you know scammers." And I was incredibly put off. But, you know, as you know from the fact that I've been there 11 years, I persevered through that first experience. Now, I was incredibly upset, obviously. I just lost all the money that I brought along with me in my wallet. Um, and uh, I had a very bad opinion of Chinese people after that little, uh, little um, situation there. So, that's why I've made all these scams videos about China. It's not to try and point out or say China's a bad place. It's to prevent other people from falling into that initial scam because it's especially as a tourist they're very easy to to fall into. And the reason for this is I want people to see China for what it really is, because these scammers they're absolute scum, right? They're scumbags, but they're not indicative of all of Chinese people. In fact, they're uh, a minority. Um, yes, there is a bit of a nung pian diao pian kind of, which means if you can cheat then cheat culture going on in China but the majority of the people that I've met are incredibly friendly and hospitable and lovely lovely people and uh, that's why I make the scam videos is not to say look how bad China is because of all of its scams it's to say avoid these people don't fall for these these terrible scams and you will have an amazing time you will fall in love with China just like I did so that's the preface to this video um, I am now going to switch over to what I recorded last night. I was working with my an old friend of mine who also lived in China forever. Um, and we were working together, fixing up the car, did a lot of work on it. And uh, decided that I'd just quickly put together a video to explain that being different doesn't mean you're better or worse. So I'm going to go directly to that. Thank you for sticking through this little preface and I'll catch you guys in the main video. Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to Maryland, somewhere in uh, Maryland. I think is is Maryland the uh, <laughs> is is Maryland the actual what do you what you call it the state? Yes. Okay, so we're in Maryland, and we're in a place called Centerville or something like that, it's close to Centerville. And uh, this video is all about difference. And uh, bear with me on this because this is going to be a little difficult to explain, but this is going to explain a lot. First of all. 
As you can see, my hands are dirty. I've been working on this car and uh, I've been working on it with some friends who you will meet in a short time. And uh, a lot of people might say, oh, why would you do that? Why are you wasting your time? What's the point? And I'll tell you the point. The point is, yes, I could pay somebody to do it and save a lot of time. But for me, it's satisfaction. You fix your own car, you get to fire it up and hear it roar and you know that you have done that job. You've actually made it work. It's something that you know you just can't get. If you take it into a shop and they fix it up for you and you pick it up, you don't even notice the difference. But here, you know you've done something. And on top of that, you know what you've done. So you know if you've made mistakes and you know if you've done it well, etc, etc. But that's just the kind of person I am, the kind of personality I am. Hmm, what do we got over here? <laughs> and of course, you get other people who prefer to just go and give it to someone else and pay them some money. Now, what I'm trying to get at with this video is I've been getting a lot of flack from especially Chinese people on my latest videos. So I would like to address both the Chinese people who are giving me trouble and also the Western people and try to give you an understanding of why this phenomenon exists. Now, I'm going to ask my friend Joe to please come and join me here. Um, this is Joe. I've known him for many years. And how long were you in China for? Six years. Six years. Okay, so I'm, I'm almost 11 now. He was six, but he's married to a Chinese woman, a very mm -hmm. beautiful girl. They're expecting a child soon. Yep, two months. Really awesome. And uh, basically, he knows what I'm talking about. So what I'm trying to tell everyone here is whenever you point out differences between say, America and China. Now, I mean, differences as in, you know, I did that jack of all trades, yeah. China has none video, and I said, hey, you get lots of people who know how to do many things, but in China, things are very specialized. What kind of um, reaction can you expect to get from Chinese people? Criticism. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Criticism and just... Uh, they think you're attacking them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They're it's... criticism of your criticism, and they think you're attacking them. They think you're out to say something bad, Yeah. even when you're not. Totally. I yeah. mean, is, is it not a case of hey, here's an apple, here's an orange. An apple tastes sweeter than an orange. And then they'll say, well, you know, screw you. How can you, how dare you say you're that an apple apples is... apples are better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas you're not. You're, yeah. you're just pointing out differences. So this is a kind of a cultural phenomenon. And it's something that uh, it's not just me who experiences. And okay, I, I want you to be completely frank with me. The, mm -hmm. you've, you've seen the videos I've been making mm -hmm. while I'm in America. Am I in any way trying to say that America is better no. than China? No, or China is better than America? You're very polite in your assessment of the difference between Chinese and American. Right. Uh, and I think you're good. No, oh, yeah, thank of course you. not. No, I mean, it's accurate what you say about China and Chinese people. Yeah. Uh, and that's not always bad things. Yeah. But in my experience, I feel like they have been taught that any, anything that we bring up as a difference yeah. or a criticism in one way, which can come back on us, they still view that as an attack on not only them, but their culture and their governments, because I think they've been trained to feel that way. Right, right. Uh, when... Yeah, I think you're absolutely yeah. right on that. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is uh, to all the Chinese people who are leaving these absolutely awful, racist, disgusting comments down below, all you're doing is making yourself look bad. What you're doing is any Western person who watches my videos is looking at the comments and saying, wow, Chinese people are horrible, they're rude, they're disgusting, they're insulting, you know, they're these terrible, terrible people. Why are you doing that to yourself? Because I am not portraying China as a terrible place. I am saying, look, this is what China's like, this is what America's like. I'm not saying one's better than the other. You should hear an American talk about America. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> we slate America, but it's because we love it and want yeah. it to be better. And from someone who's lived in China a long time, and obviously you yeah. have... Yeah because we love the country yeah because we have family from the country yes we do the thing that we would do like to our child we would you would try to give correction and try to show what's better and what you yeah. can do to improve and then yeah. also just point out things as they are you don't yeah. have to sugarcoat things to yeah. love something you can love it and not have to sugarcoat it absolutely so yeah it comes basically from a situation where no criticism can be taken no matter if it's good or positive and you can't even point out any difference and if you have an opinion that doesn't gel with their opinion it's automatically wrong <laughs> right so basically the point of this video is i'd like to basically uh, ask all the rational lovely chinese people who really appreciate my videos and who i appreciate very much uh, just, just keep being awesome the way you are. And the people who are misunderstanding the message of my videos because I'm not out to attack China, I'm not out to attack America, I'm not out to say one place is better than the other. I'm basically just there to uh, share my experiences both in China and America. I'd just like to 
tell the haters to calm down a bit. I mean, you're just making yourself look like an idiot, right? That's yeah, all they're doing, honestly, right? Honestly, it's embarrassing for yeah. them. And uh, we know plenty of really nice Chinese people too. Yeah. Correct? You know, Again, rational. We're married to yeah. Chinese women because we love them, because yeah. there's a lot of awesome people who are Chinese who come visit us here in America. Yeah. And we lived with them. Yeah. Totally. Now, uh, before we wrap this video up, I have to say a massive thank you, first of all, to Joe of course. and your wife. Uh, you know, they've let me stay at their house and it's been awesome. He lives in a very beautiful farm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And a big shout out to his brother as well, who's uh, this. You see this monster of a truck? This is this is yours, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, Ben, um, this is Ben. You, do you have anything you'd like to say to everybody out there on YouTube? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I just It's been a pleasure to get to know Winston. I don't know him really well. I didn't live in China myself. I've always been here in the States. Um, but to get to know him here um, in this short time, to see his, uh, his motivation just to get his hands dirty and really get down into an experience where he is, everywhere he is, and it seems like he gives everywhere uh, a fair shake, uh, just an open mind to uh, experience what it's like. Um, so I know I'm going to be subscribing. I hope you guys do too. Um, it's just been really good to know you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to say, I really appreciate his wife's grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, she makes good grilled cheese. the Godzilla with the guitar. <laughs> Which we'll see in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Joe, anything you'd like to say to everyone before we sign off? Yeah, definitely. I am uh, not going to subscribe to your yeah. videos. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But I know you personally, so I don't so, need to. Yeah, unnecessary. Uh, but yeah, it's been a pleasure having you yeah. here. Of course, keep up the videos and the information about China. Thank you. Uh, because I know being someone who's lived there, it's a good point of view. It's fairly well-rounded, and it's, uh, it gives you a real taste of what it's like. Thank you so much. Yeah. I say, super appreciate it. Once again, course, guys, thank you. And all of you out there, you know the drill. Come on, let's say it together. Stay, Stay awesome. awesome. You know what I mean?